Welcome to our next series on x-ray diffractometer usage and today we're going to talk about how to lube the machine because with any good machine it needs to be well oiled and well maintained and in this case we're going to use standard lube uh, jet oiler actually as it's called to lube the machine Shay is going to be the one that's lubing the machine so we'll have her show you how to get it real lubed and real oily because that's the way it likes it. Okay. The first step is to remove from port A the thumb screw, which is right there. So we're going to remove the thumb screw. That is port quite, A? Port A, yes. Port A. It's quite simple. We take it out. Set it aside. And then we're going to take our jet oiler lube and put approximately one milliliter into the port. There we go. That simple. So now we're going to replace the thumb screw. Replace the thumb screw. Now, can you tell us why does a thumb screw have to be well lubed? Well, it's not the thumb screw that has to be well lubed, it's the machine. So once we put the oil down in there, it's going to travel through. And this is just to hold it in place. I'm having problems getting it in. So there are tunnels within the thumb screw that will lead to other parts of this machine? I believe so. I think we're going to let Elizabeth here try to get this. Oh, wait. There we go. Okay. Port B. Yeah, screwing in stuff without, light, without lube is hard to do. Okay. Port B is right there. Port B. Located further down on the diffractometer. Mm -hmm. And kind of in a precarious position to get to. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put one milliliter. So you stick it in and then mm -hmm. you lube it. Seems the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. There you have it. So we Quite have simple. essentially just lubed the entire machine. For the components that are moving, the little components, yes. But For there the is other oil involved with the machine. Other oil involved? Yes. Will this maintenance be done today, or is this, this how often do you This is not done very often because the oil should, in theory, not ever get lower because it's a closed system. Oh, it's a closed system. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't leave, say, through the water cooler? No. Right there. That would be really bad, and we have major issues. Okay. <laughs> but that's it. It's me. So we have just finished. And that concludes our lesson today on lubing the diffractometer.